guys, this is part three of my wrestling figure collection. In this video, I'm going to show you two sets of Jack's figures. I got the Summer Slim set and the King of the Ring set. And they're really cool. So, with that being said, let's get started. I think I'm going to go with the, the Summer Slim set first. So, the first figure in the set, we got Christian. I know they're dusty. I'm going to dust them off after this. But we got Christian. He's using his, uh, his brood attire. He's got the glasses, the shirt, and this is a cool figure. Now, all these figures... Well, most of them I had when I was a kid, and I opened them. I'm going to say in 2016, I bought both sets from an eBay seller for um, a good price. So, that's why I have them in the package. Next one... We got Hardcore Howie. Um, this is pretty cool. He's in his job squad, uh, trunks, like a t shirt. It's pretty cool. Super, Super Scars 9. I think, I guess, this is Series 9. This one. He's pretty cool. Probably the coolest out of his set. We got the Undertaker. He's in his ministry attire with a red and black robe. He's got the goatee. This was dope. I love this figure back in the day. You know, without the robe. And it's pretty cool. Like I said, probably the best one in this series, maybe the whole video, I'll see, but, because it's pretty cool. Next, we got Vince McMahon, and he comes in a suit. Does he have a mic? I thought he did. I guess not. I know I used to have one with the mic. In his hand, but this isn't it. He's looking a little thick in this suit, or maybe the suit's a little big for him. But it's a cool figure. Um, to hold the figures, yeah, they have like I don't know if you can see it, but a little like WWF. Platform in back of them. I uh, I don't I know. I guess I never noticed that. Okay, second to last in this set, we got the big show, Bull of Light. And I guess this is when he first debuted against uh, Austin when he popped up from the ring. He's in his street clothes, black shirt, black jeans, long hair. That's pretty cool. I like his figure. Paul White. Alright. And the last one in this set is going to be Gangrel. He's in his uh, brood attire. Well, technically, it's his attire. I don't remember him having another attire. But, brood attire, mouth open, tongue sticking out. He's got the, the cross, hand closed, one hand open. That's pretty cool. I love the brood. And, uh, here's the set. On the back. Here's the set I just showed you. In the bottom. He's uh. Fully loaded. I don't have that set. In the box. But I used to have. Them out of the box. Um. I had Test. I had Shane McMahon. I had X-Pac. I had Road Dog. I don't think I had a rock, but I had everything else from that set. Alright, 
will show you is Kingdom Kareem. And these figures are cool because they come with weapons. So the first figure we have is Dress. Darren Dress stuff. He comes with a sink and he's got the, the shorts and uh, his tongue sticking out. This figure is really detailed because you can see his piercings in the figure and the tattoos. So that's pretty cool. It's a shame that Draws had to retire because of injury. I really liked him back in the day. Next, we got Stone Cold Steve Austin. You know, he's my favorite wrestler, so I like this figure. I love this figure. And he's got the vest, the jeans, um, a lamp. And what is this? Like a book shelf? I think. So, it's a cool figure. Yeah. Stone Cold back in the day had a lot of figures. Um, I remember there was this one series. It was like this slept kind of series where you put water or something inside of them and they slept the water out. It was Austin, Triple H, I think The Rock, and... I don't remember the, the last one, but that was a cool series. But yeah, Skull Cold had a bunch of figures. Alright, next we've got, who is this, D.L.O. Brand. He comes with a boombox. He's got his Nation of Domination attire. And yeah, it's a pretty cool figure. Not my favorite, but it's cool. Kilo Brown. And I think the boombox actually played the music. Or was that a different set? I don't remember. I know there was uh, a couple of figures like that. That the boombox played their theme. Alright. Next, we got Mankind, and this is a cool figure because it comes with the tire and a removable mask. I thought that was pretty cool as a kid, and also Mr. Saka. So, the detail in this figure, I thought it was pretty cool. Like the, the mask, you can take it off. So, I was a big fan of this back in the day. Alright, the next figure, I love the weapon that this figure came with. It is X-Pac. And he came with the TV. I used to love this. Um, you could smash people's head through the TV. And X-Pac got the DX street clothes, and his tongue is sticking out, and he's got the bandana. Like I said, I love the weapon. I think I still have them. Um, I got a bin over here full of uh wrestling stuff, like the ring, the weapons. So I might have a couple of these. But, I love this figure. Alright. Uh, almost dropped it. Come on, the table. Alright. Uh, and the last figure in this, uh, set in the video is gonna be Gold Dust. He comes with the robe and a door. And there's the... 
even more time. Yeah. But yeah, guys, that was part three of my collection, most of my Jacks figures. Um, let me know in the comments which is your favorite figure out of all of these, and let me know if you have any of these figures and if they're still in the box. But leave a like if you like this uh, video. Subscribe if you're new. Turn on your post notifications so you know when I upload and come back for part four. Have a nice day, guys. Peace.